All right, everybody, Sean Allison here. Uh, I do a lot of fishing videos, and I've done a couple of uh, filleting fish. Uh, I'm going to do one today that I haven't really done before, and that's going to be, you know, cooking up some fish. We're just going to fry up some red snapper. I got some red snapper here, a couple fillets. We're going to fry them up in the fryer and make some, basically make some burgers out of them. Uh, so for starters, we've got to get our fillets ready. I've already kind of prepped one. I've got the other fillet here. Um, it's kind of a smaller fillet. We want to turn this into two pieces, but big enough to use on a burger, right? We do have some bones right here in the middle. There's no bones anywhere else, but there will be a couple bones here. Uh, first thing I want to do, trim these bones out of here. They're pretty shallow, right? So those are gone. Uh, that gives me a natural spot kind of right about here. We get two kind of even sized pieces. They'll kind of fit on a on a burger bun here. Uh, this piece looks pretty good. Not really anything to trim off of that one. Uh, this second piece here, see this red meat in the middle. This tends to be on a lot of fish. Tends to be a little bit fishier tasting than the rest of the fish. Uh, this is red snapper. It's very mild flavored, so that's usually not a problem. Honestly, I could cook this up just like it is, and it wouldn't be a big deal. But if you want to trim this out, just take your knife. I keep my knife pretty darn sharp, but uh, a, a really sharp knife with fish really helps. Uh, kind of cut down into this and cut back up. It doesn't go quite all the way through. Uh, the problem is when you trim this out, as you cut down into here, there's a natural line here between these two muscle layers. And as you cook it, this will tend to want to separate and turn into two different pieces. So the more you trim out of here, the more likely this is going to fall apart in the fryer. Uh, but we got our red stuff out. And we got our fillets ready to go. We got our oil heating up, right? We want this to be between 350 and 375. 350 on the low end, 375 on the high end. Uh, my oil's heating up right now. It's not quite ready. Uh, depending on the thickness of the fillets, these are actually kind of thinner fillets. I would do these no more than three minutes. I will literally run a stopwatch while I'm cooking these three minutes and, and no more if the fillets are a little thicker i would go up to four minutes i wouldn't do any more than that especially if you're running 375 you'll start burning stuff uh after about four minutes um but we'll let the oil heat up and uh we'll get back to it shortly all right seven minutes later our fries are done right had to do two batches i can't quite fit all of one bag in this little basket um that's the case with most of these fryers but so we've got our fries done uh they were cooked at 375 i'm just going to leave it the same for our fish here all right we'll get rid of our fries let those start drain it off recap that that'll help get this back up to temperature faster because it's capturing that heat all right in the meantime we're going to prep our fillets i'm going to do two at a time i've only got four fillets to do uh, but i'm going to take it i've got cornmeal here it's just a seasoned fish fry type cornmeal. It's got a little bit of seasoning in it. Um, there's a lot of different types. Some have lemon and whatnot, but uh, I just ultimately prefer the cornmeal base. Uh, I also don't dip it in milk and do extra coating and all that other stuff because I prefer minimal coating and more fish. Uh, if you want thicker coating, you can do a beer, a beer batter or you can roll in cornmeal, dip it in like milk and egg with that and then roll it in the cornmeal a second time that'll make a thicker crustier coating um, but again i prefer kind of a thinner coating right so kind of just press this down i don't like i used to have a tumbler i don't like the tumbler i prefer to do this by hand and just kind of pack it in there anywhere here where the meat separates i'll sprinkle that on there and kind of pack push it in all right get the edges really well shake off the excess there's one ready throw my second one I lay napkins out because this does tend to make a mess, but when I'm done, if you got napkins, you just fold the napkins up and throw them in the trash and minimal mess. All right, so pat that one down real good. Shake it off. Our oil's ready again. Lay that one there. Lay that one there. I don't want to overdo it with the fish because the, the temperature is going to drop as soon as you put anything in here. Uh, and I want the fish to cook thoroughly. 
So I'm going to start a timer again. I'm at 375. I definitely don't want to go beyond four minutes. I want to go at least three. With these bigger fillets, I'll probably go three and a half and split the difference, and that will probably come out just right. Right, so they just went in, and we'll check it again in three minutes. In the meantime, I'll be breading up this next batch. All right, three and a half minutes here. Get that out. We're done with the fryer. We're going to unplug that. These things drain really well. All right, got most of the oil off. Sometimes it's hard to dump fish without it coming apart. I'm trying not to. It does want to split apart in two pieces here naturally, right along that line there. All right, so we've got our fish ready here. It's already seasoned. I don't really need to add anything, honestly, but just a slight small dash of salt like a little pepper on mine sorry if that's shaky a little bit of dill weed there it goes put a little bit of dill weed on there give it a little bit of dill flavor and a little bit of lemon juice I use the cap so I don't over pour out of the bottle and pour, you know, two, three capfuls on one piece of fish. Uh, but at the same time, I wish I had one of the little lemon squeeze bottles so I wouldn't quite get this much either. All right, so there's some lemon. And it's ready to make a sandwich with. All right, so continuing our preps for our fish burgers here, our fish sandwiches. Uh, we got our sesame seed buns. Uh, I've got just a little bit of avocado oil. You can use olive oil, whatever here. A little bit of salt and pepper in there. Um, but not much. I'm just going to kind of brush it on the bread. I've already basted the foil here with a light coating. I've got the, the oven on broil, so it's about as hot as it's going to get. I don't really want to do the inside, so we're going to kind of baste the outside of the bun here. Alright, so... Oven's broiling. Put those in. Start a timer. And we'll check those here in just a couple minutes. It's on our breading here. Let's check on it. Starting to get toasty. Good. That's any more than that. See it starting to brown. It's going to want to burn. So we're going to call that. Good. All right. So we've got our spread here. We've got our. Our hamburger buns are already kind of toasted, our fish, our fries, a little bit of lettuce, tomato, you can use mayonnaise, I got a little bit of tartar sauce here, and we're ready to make our sandwich, right, so, take a little of that, a shot of that, both sides there, alright, spread that around a little, take our fillet of fish, Pop it on the bottom side. Nice slice of tomato there. And a couple chunks of lettuce. And mm, mm, mm. Are we ready to eat or what? Look at that. Handful of fries. Time to dig in.